If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the market, kind of what to expect, guys, with Ultimate Kickoff. More than likely coming out Thursday, guys. How is this going to affect the market, kind of the ramifications, and just kind of how things are going to work. Now, the current state of the market's not great. Now, that goes two ways. Because at the end of the year, when the market's dead, we say the market's not great. Beginning of the year, when the market's super high, we say it's not great. Why? Because a stagnant market isn't a great market. Okay, a high stagnant market. It's not a market you can enjoy. Because here's the thing. On a day-to-day -day basis, man, you're like, I want to pick up Lamar and play with him today. But I might want to sell him later. But with the way the market is right now, you're terrified to hold a player right now. Because you could buy a whole team for a million coins right now, let's just say. Maybe it gets you four great players. Maybe five great players, depending on the price. But your concern is that tomorrow when you wake up, it could drop easily. It could drop 20k a player, which doesn't sound like a lot, but you times that by the five and lose 100k. The market's too high. And just like me, and just like most people, you're probably scared to really buy players right now. Now, when the market's low, you it's, it's a field day. Buy whoever you want, because you know, worst case, only scenario that could happen is it comes up. And you just make coins on everyone you bought. That's not exactly the case right now, as you guys can see. Now, Legends are stagnant around this 240 range, and not that that's crazy expensive, but I've seen them lower. Junior Seau's come down, of course, because that he was supposed to. Bo Jackson's 505, he's come down, of course, as well. Now, that's still expensive, regardless of how you look at it. Now, the only guy that's kind of holding, like, holding in some weird little range is Barry Sanders, but he's not he's not really accountable. You can't really account for him just because of the fact that he's going to be a 32-team collection, and that's just... Coming up from that, guys, as far as Ultimate Kingdom coming out, how will that affect things? It's gonna be it's gonna be unique. It's gonna be a unique situation because there's two ways to go about this. So in the stream we saw the when you saw the screenshots, the collection the collectible, the collection, everything looked very similar to last year. So if that's the case from last year, Ultimate Kickoff didn't do too much to the market, but they were covering a currency in the corner of this of the stream as well. They literally blurred it out and covered it with one of the little gray blocks. So if there is a currency, guys, that changes everything dramatically. Now the reason is right now everyone's hopped up on training. Everyone wants training. So that's why elites are super, super expensive right now. But if we get a currency, two things can happen from this currency. So hear me out here. A, training goes, people stop caring about training for a little bit. Everyone wants that new currency and training comes down in price and basically it's come down a little bit because people don't need training right now. They need that currency to do whatever comes for that. And that, tra and that currency as well could be very useful. Now, here's the other thing that could actually make the market go even higher is that it takes training to do store store reroll sets or whatever you want to call it, store reroll options and you can then use training to get those so people are going to start using all the trainings to get those to get the current to get the players to get the currency so then the market can go up now there is also a scenario in which the market crashes now the only way the market really crashes off kickoff in general would have to be a first and foremost four banger players is the only way the market ends up crashing they drop four banger players and they drop lower players that are that are good too now if that's the case and they're easily obtainable that's going to crash the market of course now the issue is if it's like anything like last year if like the issue with last year specifically was that they weren't obtainable they were so hard they were super expensive it almost had minimal effect on the market just because of the fact that came out no one can get them no one can touch them it's money grab and everyone just dipped that was it and, they, and the collectibles are what you got from the packs so it's not like the packs really killed the market either now, guys, before we, before we continue this video, because we've gotten in pretty deep into the intro here, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys, because we're the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, go down below, comment. Let me know what you guys think of the market in terms of how kickoff's going to affect it. In terms of the current state of the market, you guys are probably asking, right? Buy, sell before kickoff. Um, For sure, don't buy. I mean, like, I'm not saying go on a selling spree, per se, right? Because, again maybe things go up more maybe things stay i'm I, but i'm but for sure don't buy that, that's the one thing I, I can assure you about is like at these current prices now i must say again i think things are high i personally sold but i made so many coins and i had to buy a team because weekend league is coming up so i want to get ready for weekend league and then okay got confirmed it was kind of just like a whole thing of events there but in terms of a regular madden player right now i'd recommend you just don't buy you can hold or you can sell but for sure don't buy now just look at these prices it, it, it's just it's right there you can see like bobby wagner christian mccaffrey all these guys like yes they came down from their other prices but these just aren't that usable of cards like bobby wagner is not great so he's only being held up by his training value right now in the state of the market just a few guys here just really aren't that great 
Now, again, the 88s, they're all going to be good cards, but not in comparison to their price. Guys like Dan Marino should come down probably once the market comes down a little bit. It's like 190 to 200 flat. Now, again, training is going to hold them up as per usual. But as we keep checking this out, guys, in total, I don't see these legends coming up much more. Like I said, even if the market does go up, again, they're still held by training for the most part. So I only see a scenario in which most of these guys end up coming down. I really don't see them coming up, which is why this is not a buy scenario. Like, it's just going to be an appreciating asset no matter how you look at it. Now, if you want to compete in Weekend League, that's one thing. But maybe still just wait till Thursday. Like, I bought my guys already, like I said, because I made a video on it. And I had to go ahead and get ready for Weekend League regardless. And I didn't want to play the game. I couldn't hold out much longer not being able to play online. But for all of you guys, if you guys can hold out a little bit longer, at least that open kick will come out and see how that affects things first before you go ahead and buy. Because if it crashed a little bit, then you're still looking at a bunch of depreciating assets. Now... Again, a lot more guys will be coming down, in my in my opinion. Now, like I said, if there is a currency, the currency could really change the game here a little bit. Could actually increase some training, but I don't think it'll increase it much beyond what it is. So it's more like things come up where you reduction would have lost it anyways, or you or you just save coins. So I really don't see a risk associated with selling early uh, beforehand. Now again, remember a lot of people do sell before promos. Now this year, I have not noticed it just yet. Like people aren't really pre-selling. Because I think a lot of people aren't really on top of the game just yet. Now, remember, once we get past this, like, it's October, Halloween promo, Thanksgiving. That's when people always pre-sell. People pre-sell before the pre-sell. So there's really no more opportunity for pre-sell. Like, back in the older Madden days, you used to be able to, the night before, sell all your cards for double the price. And then the next morning, everyone would be surprised by a crash. And then all, you'd make so many coins. But now, YouTubers keep everyone so up to date. Madden Twitter. Good morning, Madden. Everyone knows what's coming. So there's really no such thing anymore. But right now, it appears as though there's not much of a pre-sell there's a slight dip but not much of a pre-sell so you may be able to take advantage of the first year's uh the first the first pre-sell of the year but that's pretty much it from there on out so again guys in terms of the market the state it's in it's fine i can't call it bad because to call it bad that would be implying that it's a messed up market it's not it's just expensive but why is it expensive because because there's been there hasn't been much content right there's been there's been much content not much need and then football season hasn't started yet that's going to build up some hype again and people are going to buy all their favorite cards from the nfl but for the most part i see it coming down pretty soon and we'll get to normalization now normalization i believe would be like these guys being around 120 120 uh like 150 150 legends coming down to like 160 170 like that'd be more normalization closer to a, like a, a median where i'd expect these cards to be at and then team diamond guys don't expect these cards to really be an accurate representation representation all year and the reason for that is because their price is going to be weird all year it's going to get to a point where some of them are super expensive like for example guys like asante samuel are in the 300 300k range why because his set costs elites to make training is up that means their set goes up which means all these cards are super expensive not to mention less people are doing it now because we're already at a point people probably aren't doing that set as much anymore as they were the first few days people aren't overselling them where there's been no content so theme diamonds have remained the best cards in the game or one of the best ways to you know construct your team so their, their demands going up their supplies going down the demands going up it's pretty it's pretty simple but Th these cards should be weird. It's gonna be like Night Train Lane last year, who had a crazy price tag for a while. Barry Sanders, because the, the market doesn't really affect that player individually. It more so affects the cards that go into that player. So on a much smaller micro scale, it affects things. But it's still going to be some ramifications to it, but not as much as you may think. So these cards are, don't don't expect these cards in like a crash to go too much down. Like eventually they will. It's gonna get to a point where their their value doesn't even matter anymore. They're just cards, and people are gonna sell them. But in the short term, I don't see them changing too much per se. But yeah, guys, so in my opinion, will the market crash molten kickoff? A little bit. I don't think it's going to be some crazy crash. Like I said, it, unless they make ultimate kickoff a way better version of what it was last year. Only way, but if they make it something similar to last year, it won't It won't cause it won't cause a huge crash. Now, there's a currency that changes everything. Because again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, about store, store offers, come over here. Last year, there was you could use training or currency to purchase players in here. Well, not purchase players. Purchase a thing that gives you players. So right here. For example, be like these for 60 training. Instead, it would say, you know, a um, a kickoff player or a kickoff collectible, or it would say use kickoff currency to do it. Now, that would greatly change just about everything in terms of how things are valued. Kickoff players, my kickoff players are probably super expensive in that case. If these were good, if they're good, of course, it really just depends. You guys, better for the video. I think we covered everything I want to cover. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're into the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Give the video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the market. Have you guys sold? Have you guys bought? Are you guys holding? Let me know what you guys are thinking. And who are you investing in for ultimate kickoff? You guys, better for the video. Smash the like button. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.